segment we are calling Unprecedented Truth. My name is Matt Absher, and our guest today is going to be Randy Rock, who I have with me. Say hi, Randy. What's up, guys? How you doing? Awesome. We are partnered with Monument Productions, uh, who is helping take donations to keep arts and entertainment alive during this crazy time that we're going through right now, which we will be discussing. Uh, you can go to www.monument.productions, uh, and you can go to Venmo or PayPal link, which is on their page, and help donate. And please, the more that you give, the more that we are able to do stuff like this so that we can have these interesting conversations and keep it going and keep arts and entertainment alive during this crazy fun time that we're all going through. Uh, so again, my name is Matt Absher, and this is Randy Rock, and today we're going to be talking about conspiracy and COVID and what is going on behind the scenes and what this all means. So, Randy, welcome. Um, What's happening? I appreciate you showing up today, man. Thanks for, uh, yeah, thanks for coming on. Uh, we've got a lot to talk about, uh, more than we have time to talk about, but it'll be a good intro. So, um, I've known you for many years. We've been friends and you've really kept your thumb on the heartbeat of things that are going on in terms of behind the scenes, whether it's political, whether it's you know financial, uh, anything worldwide that has any kind of conspiracy attached to it, you're usually my go-to person, which is funny because in the beginning of our relationship, about 13 years ago when we first met, I, I was probably a bigger conspiracy theorist than you were. Uh, but slowly, over the course of the years, you've really seemed to gotten interested and um, really taken a, a, a lot harder look than I have done a lot of research on what's going on and following message boards and things like that. So uh, let's get a little bit about you. Tell me, how did you get into this really quickly? Um, so deeply, what was there any one, um, I would say, like um, incident or a piece of information that you received that really got you kind of hooked into looking at this stuff? Well, you know, I've always been open to different ways of thinking and looking outside of the box. And I think I've always been sort of anti-government, anti-establishment. Um, and, you know, from, from just the things that have been going on lately, I think there's what we're dealing with really, honestly, is a spiritual shift in, in consciousness. I think... There seems to be a lot of people waking up to the illusion that we've been part of. I think with mainstream media being controlled and manipulated, um, and it's almost like the pyramid. You know, the top of the pyramid is a very small group of people that sort of manipulate and control everything because of uh, you know their their bloodlines and because of their financial uh, control of everything. You know, when you start to really research and look into their six corporations that own everything in the world the banks own those corporations and these oligarchs are the ones who own the banks so when you start really looking at history and the you know back in the early uh 1900s when you know a book was written uh, about that time about the central banking system getting started and all that it just sends you down a rabbit hole when you start researching this stuff and you start really looking at the constitution, why it was created, really seeing the true history instead of the history that they are trying to manipulate and change to uh, be more in line with their narrative and what they want to create. Um, there's awakening happening. And, and um, we, I sort of brought the QAnon stuff to you or the Q, Q post um, and I'm not sure what your thoughts were on it when I first introduced it to you or talked to you about it, but um, I, I feel like you may have made a shift in, in some of that stuff now, maybe. Well, it's <laughs> I don't very know interesting. It's I will say that, uh, to say the least, you know, for I know a couple of years now, there are things that you have said to us, you know, uh, within our, you know, close group of friends that sounds outlandish. You know, when you first hear it, you're like, Really? And slowly, everything that you've said to us has come true, which is super fascinating. And you can't really ignore it at that point when all these things that seem like, wait, really? You know, I mean, gosh, I would say for at least a year and a half now, you've been telling us, you know, make sure that you have extra cash on hand, keep some supplies, make sure that you stay uh, able to be inside your home for an extended period of time. And that sounds, and, you know, in 2020, even in 2019, that sounded absolutely nuts. Like our world is so interconnected with everybody and so many moving parts and we're out so much 
that that idea mm. just sounds ridiculous. But now here we are where, you, you know, you, a few weeks ago, you know, or even a couple months ago, if you'd have told somebody, you know, you're going to be sitting at home for a couple of months and not leave the house very much at all. I think anybody would have thought that would have been an absolutely bonkers well, idea. So let's back up and talk a little bit about the things that you have known leading up to this, what you think this time means for everybody, and considering the, the things that you know about what goes on behind the scenes for all this, what is happening now? What do you think is going on behind the scenes now? Well, I mean, I've always been sort of, like I said, wanting to look outside the box, and I think I've always questioned a lot of things. I think when you start really um, learning how to think and not necessarily be manipulated from just what the mainstream media is telling you. And, you know, when you start to see the br the fractures and the breaks and in, in their communication to the public, and then you start to see truth behind, you know, a narrative that they're trying to push or getting you to think in a certain way. Um, and that's probably what got my interest because when I started seeing a lot of the breakdown of the mainstream media, um, I don't know how I got guided on the, the Q stuff, the Q board, um, and the Anons, but uh, I it, they started dropping on I think 4chan in uh, 2000 October 2017, right around the the time of the election. So all this sort of ties together, and um, you know that. And the more I went down the rabbit hole, the more truth you start seeing, and you realize you know we are in a spiritual warfare, and and, and there's. There's things that are, you know, David Icke had a really nice uh, interview uh, today on London Reel, if anyone wants to check it out. It's, and it, again, it's, you know, not that you have to believe everything that David Icke talks about with his, some of his stuff, but when you start really looking at a lot of his earlier work and then looking at today, he talks about the very same thing. And that interview is a very good interview to, to check out, but um, it starts to get you thinking about, you know, our reality and 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 uh how we've been duped mainly uh how we have given our our power our inner internal god-given power away to an authority figure that's that's basically just manipulating controlling everything mm. you know and i, I think uh, it's easier to say oh yeah well that's that, guy, that sounds a little wacky and it's a little out there but uh look at what's happening i mean the whole world is shut down right now so you know, people I've talked to about certain things that totally didn't believe anything I was saying. Now they're sort of like, oh, okay, well, that's interesting, but I still don't believe it. And it's like, okay, we're just, I'm not getting anybody to try to believe like I believe. I want people just to think for themselves, start to look into things versus just blindly believing, you know, a lie. So well, I tell you what, uh, so that there, are, I know that there's going to be listeners or people who are watching that have no idea what Q is at all. So QAnon. Um, anon is short for anonymous, I assume, right? Uh, anonymous, yeah. What? No, yeah. what is this? Uh, because I'm not as familiar as you are with it. It's a platform uh, that you can go online and check out. Well, where basically, it, like Reddit. I would just say, do your do your own messages. research. I think you can go. Uh, you can go to qmap.pub. I think is a, a, a good place to go and to go check it out. There's a few flat platforms that carry it. Just research it. Just find it for yourself. Um, and uh, when you when you start going down the rabbit hole, again, it, it wakes you up to uh, the, the child sex trafficking. The um, you know, and I think we had talked a little bit about that. Um, about well, let, let's back up and kind of nutshell it for everybody then. So for the past you know few years, you've been letting me know slowly about uh, you know people behind the scenes, and there's been you know child sex trafficking which is you know again that's another one of those things that a lot of people it sounds crazy and you don't want to talk about it it's such a, a disgusting subject but you know um evidently it is you know it is the highest grossing and highest growing uh crime in the entire world right now and now there's mm -hmm. been you know people that are higher up whether it being media the government that are connected in weird ways with this, you know, child sex trafficking trade across the world. And supposedly right. there's a lot of that of going on behind the scenes right now. Currently, why don't you tell me about that in terms of why things are being shut down right now? Well, I think, um, I think the powers that have been, I think, um, 
the, the manipulators and the people that have been doing all this, I think some of that's starting to be ex exposed. There's basically, we were infiltrated into our, these people infiltrated into our government to push us into a one world society. Um, and now this is, uh, it, the white hats are people that we believe um, are the, like the good side of the military. Uh, Cause they, with each branch of government, you've got your, the positive aspects of it, but you also have the negative aspects of it. The shadow government, the, the deep state, the cabal, the Illuminati, whatever, whatever word you want to put on it. Um, these are all the same characters and, and, they're starting to be exposed for who they really are. And basically it's a mafia that has been trying to take over our country. And the, the Q is um, believed to be a military intelligence. That's believed to be a group of people. Um, and again, do your own research. And when you start really looking into it, you start connecting the dots and you start seeing truth. And, and the Q stuff is really to get you to think. And, and it, a lot of times it'll put certain of uh, the codes in, in a question form. So it allows the person to ask themselves the question. And then when they start researching it, they start finding truth. And it, that is about waking us up, our consciousness up to the, to the lie. And that we are, I believe it goes to a higher level of more spiritual beings having human experience. And we've been given our power away to an entity that's not, you know, that's not got our best interest involved. So the spiritual awakening, I believe, or the great awakening is what they're calling it, is people waking up to the idea of, of their own divinity, their own power within. I think that, you know, I, I sort of always looked at anything that takes the power away from you is a lie. Anything that gives you power, empowers the people is truth. So I look at everything from that perspective, you know, what's taking my power away, what's giving me my energy, giving me my love, giving me the support of the universe. And you start separating yourself from that illusion. And I think that's what being, that's the, what the Q stuff is about is to expose that, um, that we have been lied to and we are being manipulated and it's time for us to take our power back as the people. Um, of this world, not just this country, but as the world, because uh, this is happening all over the world. People waking up to to um, to seeing the behind the curtain, so to speak. You know, they, mm -hmm. you know, Wizard of Oz is a great analogy because they gave all this power thing to, to this thing, and then realized it was an old man behind the curtain. That's kind of what we're looking at, you know, and, and that's an analogy that's a, that's a great analogy. So, so do you think that a lot of this has to do with power and control? And that's what uh, uh, a lot of, of this course. Is going like, on. Like, the, like, like David Dyke talks about um, manipulating your perceptions. That's what they do. They, mm. man, they manipulate your perception of, of uh, a certain reality. And they feed off of fear. So that, that's why they all the wars and all the stuff that they – they create that's around pain and suffering and blood. That's, that's sort of a celebration for them because they feed off of fear and that's how they, they control us. Well, I mean, they clearly have a lot of people currently then in that state. Um, do you, speaking of which, do you think that there's an agenda at all, uh, good or bad on either side for what's happening right now, considering we're in this global pandemic, do you think that there are, what is the well, I think the side? I think the dark I think the dark is being exposed. You know whether you want to look at it from a spiritual perspective or not. Darkness, you know, is a lower. If you want to look at it from the quantum physics perspective, darkness is a lower form of energy, a lower vibrational field, and that's what field they want to keep us in. And truly, there's as we move up into the states of of consciousness, the awareness and the happiness, the joy, the love when we live from those higher uh, perspectives that we, they have no power over us. So as long as we can keep building as a community, uh, conscious people, again, we don't have to fear these people. We don't have to fear death. We don't have to fear any of this stuff. 
because it's once we start taking our own power back, then then they lose. And that's what's happening. That's that's what the Great Awakening is about. And the QAnon stuff, I think, is just a step in that. I think it's just a um, again, it's trying to show it, it's a, a backdoor channel to giving people truth. Mm. And I think they're, I think it's connected to the president, to the mil- high ups in the military. Because if you see everything that's going on right now in the news, Q talked about a, a few years ago, you know, and it's playing out exactly like they sort of like laid it out. So I think we have got white hats. We have got um, higher vib- vibrational beings that are fighting against this. And, uh, you know, I think there's no reason to be scared. There's no reason to fear. And I think if you can find the joy and the love within the heart, even if being with family or, or whoever you're with at this moment, or even if you're alone, you're not alone because we are in this together. And if we can pull everybody together to to wake up to um, to the lie that we've been living, then we all are liberated. Well, there also has been talk of um, there's going to be a few days of darkness. Um, I don't yeah. know much about that, but I did hear you mention that at, at one point during one of our conversations. Mm-hmm. What What is that and what do you think that is uh, coming up? Do you think that that's anything that we should be thinking about? Well, I mean, I think it's always good to be prepared for the unknowns. Obviously, you know, we're, we're seeing if, if you weren't, didn't have food or, I mean, at least you can go out and get food and stuff. But if you, if you um, weren't prepared, you, you could be in a, a word of hurt, you know, with, with not having cash or, you know, right now the banks are open, but that might, not, that might change. Um, I think what's happening is the deep state that planned all this before, um, before. I think the shutting down of things is done on purpose to basically disrupt and destroy the economy. Um, But I think there's people in the know that are working behind the scenes to fight or using it against them. Yeah. Whatever they're, whatever they plan, they're taking their plan and they're basically playing chess and, and, the, the white hats, the people that have been doing this, they're five steps ahead. And if you see, you know, they wanted to change the world economy to a one banking system for the world, but it was something that they could control. Well, now they're taking it, I, I believe they're taking it and turning it. So they're going to destroy the central banking system create an hopefully a, a, a banking system that works for the people not for these small one percenters um and uh again that's that's what i i see i see playing out i think we i think the white hats are winning i think we are uh the angelic forces are working to to make things happen and um again it, it's a it's about not living in fear yeah you know staying in a place of love and and uh research you know if you really want to find stuff out research and if you're not that great of a researcher find a friend that's a good researcher and you guys you know go check it go go that's go dig you. <laughs> yeah well you know again i don't know everything i'm not going to be the say i'm the smartest guy in the world I, i'm pretty uh wise and when it comes to certain things but um but that's not that important either. So it's all, it's really about each one of us kind of waking up to our own, our own power within ourselves. And when we can wake up within ourselves and then we can come together and see the illusion of, you know, if they can keep different groups fighting at this level, they win. Mm-hmm. It's like when, when we start to stop seeing the, the, it's a certain group of people that are trying to keep the hate going. And, you know, I don't want to get in, you know, it's really not about Democrat and Republican, any yeah. of that when you get into the political arena. Right. So, you know, I think everybody should just do their own research. Um, you know, I would start listening to some alternative media, um, you know, whether whether it's just, again, just research. And Because if you're listening to a lot of the mainstream media, they're not telling you the truth, you yeah. know. 
Well, and, give me give me uh, at least uh, you know two to three examples. Where would you find if someone didn't know where to go to find alternative media? Where well, would you once go? you start researching, when you start researching Q, I think iPod um, in pursuit of truth. I think he does a great job with the Q breakdowns. Uh, Pray and medic um, is another guy that that uh, does a, a good job at that, the Q breakdowns. Um, you know, you can start, you know, researching it and some of these people start popping out um, and listen to what they say. And, and again, uh, all of them pretty much say the same thing is do your own research and yeah. trust no one, you know, start to look at the evidence, start looking at the, 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 uh, the truth and the truth will prevail. I believe that the truth is will, it will prevail. Well, Rock, uh, and having said that, uh, towards the, the end of all this, when we come out of this, uh, say, best case scenario, uh, you know, good guys I, win, what does that look like to you? You know, what is the well, future I th- look I like think, to you? I think for starters, I think we're going to start seeing um, once we get out of this, which, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping will be by Easter, would be, would be a great uh, another example of another uh, resurrection. But um, that would be nice, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I just see um, a new world that, that, that well, we're not taxed and we're not, you know, it, it, we, we support each other. We help each other and um, we help those in need. We help the people that need to be helped instead of, uh, you know, pushing poverty and then trying to force it down people's throat and, you know, pushing people toward more government power, more government control. And I don't think any of us want that. You know, we want to be able to be free beings. And that's mm-hmm. what we're here for. We're sentient beings and, and we're spiritual beings having a human experience. If you want to see it from that perspective. Yeah, um, a little bit more spiritual enlightenment going around. Yeah, I think it's, you know, in, regardless of even if somebody's, you know, anti-God or, or atheist. I mean, again, nature and freedom, you know. I don't care if somebody has a different idea than me. Just don't force your ideas on me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So same thing with the government. I don't, I don't want uh, them forcing their beliefs and their ideas on me as a sentient being. Um, and I think people are waking up to that control mechanism. Wow. And well, I think my man, li- Randy Rock, this has been some amazing food for thought. I really, really appreciate yeah. you coming on. Uh, and guys, yeah, man. Uh, again, please go to monument.productions, uh, www.monument.productions. And please, uh, if you have a chance, uh, we're so excited to be able to bring you conversations like these and to bring more of them to you. Uh, just go click on their Venmo or PayPal links and uh, donate as much so we can keep arts and entertainment and awesome, interesting conversations like this going into the future. Uh Rock, thank you again so much, my man. I really appreciate yeah, man. it. Uh, much peace and love. Yeah. I hope you're staying yeah, safe for sure, and indoors. And I look forward to talking to you soon, my man. Yeah, we'll be outdoors soon, man. All right. Love you, bud. <laughs> love you, Doug.